Welcome back to Nintendo guys, it's time for a light novel review. Welcome once again guys, we're going to be reviewing a light novel from J Novel Club. Uh, this is going to be on Reborn to Master the Blade, from Hero King to Extraordinary Squire. Um, it's actually a pretty good one. Uh, I will say, I believe they released the online version months ago maybe even a year or two ago so this is the actual hard copy now um so it's a little later to the game but j novel is definitely now releasing more hard hardcover or not hardcover but hard copies for us to read uh just like yen press and i believe they're under the umbrella yen press because if you go to the website that's where you'll find them so um pretty good one i i believe there there is an anime i give my first impressions to it i don't remember the episode much it was back in january of this year um it was in the recent time of me returning back to YouTube, so I don't I don't know a lot of the enemy itself, and I never actually um, reviewed it. So um, I know there's 12 episodes, and that's about it. So, but I read half of the light novel uh, enough to understand where it's at, and it's actually really really good. So, uh, before anything, if you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. Let me know what you guys like about this series and also check out yen press and j novel and Yenon. all these companies under the same umbrella are sending me copies for me to review for you guys which is why it's possible for me to release so many reviews uh in one month so if you guys want to see more of that then also support them because it's a great company and they're doing a lot for us um i'm so excited that j novel is releasing their stuff now in physical copies because um i i've was buying some of their digital stuff but it, it's it's so much different from reading an actual book than going through your tablet Just completely honest there so okay uh like any light novels we do get a little bit of um uh pictures here uh now i haven't seen the anime since January, so I don't know if these are directly designs from the actual anime or if these were originally made. Oh, that's a little bit oh. <laughs> not not YouTube appropriate, but like other light novels, in between we get um, here and there different uh, pictures that uh, express what's going on within the lives of our characters. Um, now, the novel itself is divided by chapters, and at least this one is divided by the the ages. So, our first chapter, which is really the prologue, um, and it really is important to read, is all about the life of the person before he is reincarnated. And the hero that we get here is King uh, Inglis. And essentially, he is well-loved. He's a great warrior. He's done so much for his country. Um, and he sacrificed so much of himself for his country that he prays to his goddess that he may have a second chance to life so that he can basically focus on himself um and he is granted that wish uh, past that we divide the chapters by ages so chapter one is him as a baby so age zero to months uh chapter two is him at age five chapter three is him at age six which is not really it makes much difference and then chapter um Four, which is where I'm at, is at age 12, um, and five as well, and then I think past that, he is just 15 years old, and then the actual full story starts. Now, I will say, there is a lot of him growing up, so I'm not even to this point where he's 15. Oh, yeah, and by the way, he's reincarnated into a girl. <laughs> I guess that's something that is important, and I completely missed. Uh, 
um, yeah, he's reincarnated to a girl, um, and that's kind of like the big shocker in the beginning, but age zero, essentially, he's working out the kinks of where he's reincarnated. He's trying to figure out how much of magic he can still use, realizing um, how much of the world doesn't use magic as much as he is used to. Uh, and then age five and six uh, is essentially him learning more and hiding it mainly from people. Uh, there is an incident where his mother and aunt is attacked and there is a boy, his cousin, older cousin, who is essentially uh, meant to be a hero, and um, he, uh, or sh she, I guess now, uh, ends up defending him from the dragon. He gets knocked out, but essentially he is to be the hero, and they basically tell him, like, leave us here with the kids. We'll... we'll sacrifice ourselves for you to save yourself and he kind of doesn't he still stays behind and um in greece basically finds such heroic uh mind of the boy even at a young age that decides that it's worth him uh showing off his powers which we don't know one saw uh and then where i'm at with age 12 they're basically dealing with some snooty noble who wants to train under under the the knights that they're there and he himself can use magic so um i'm gonna assume that it's a world where nobles maybe know about the magic but don't really release it amongst the common people and that's how they keep themselves at the level that they are um so that that's just my wild guess on that um the story itself moves fast but also slow um i want to say even finishing this novel, this first volume, I feel like the story is not going to feel like it even started until maybe volume two. And it's one of those that I think it's great, but at the same time, you have to commit yourself. Uh, a lot of novels do that, where they not, volume number one is the introduction, and it's so good that it does hook you. And I, I'm gonna say, it is good, it's really good actually. Um, the depth to it is really good. The comedy of him being an old guy, and now he's you know a young girl, that's hilarious as well. It, there's a lot of to it. Uh, world building as well as well as character building that I really enjoyed that this volume is doing to the story that a lot of series don't do because they want to get straight to the story and all of that is put in the prologue um, and you know to each its own but I, I, I prefer this style because even though it pushes me to have to read maybe volume two to then have a fully understanding of what the story might be about um it still um sets in motion a great story that has enough details that you know that the writer's putting a lot of passion to it and not just writing to write right so uh, um I sell our rights there. But anyways, um, nonetheless, I think it's a great volume. Go check it out. J Noble Club uh, released that one. Um, so they, they're doing great stuff uh, uh, out there. So make sure you check it out. It is ages 13 and up. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Uh, great, great series. Out of 10, I'm going to give this one a 7.5. I think it's one of the ones that uh, is worth buying. There's not a lot of fan service to it, which personally I, I appreciate that as well. So uh, yeah, it is what it is thank you guys so much for watching this if you haven't done so by now subscribe to my channel give some love to not just me but jay novel and yen press and yen on by liking and commenting on this video and uh, also subscribe so you guys don't miss any other videos thank you again and like always don't be strangers see you guys